welcome. I'm Afshin here with the latest updates of Sri Gokulam Public School Calicut. In connection with the 21st National Science Day, the students and the faculty of Sri Gokulam Public School Calicut are conducting an inter Gokulam fest, Eskar Alchemy. Here we have a reporter, Shreya, joining from Sri Gokulam Public School Calicut. Over to you, Shreya. Thank you, Afshi. Hi, this is Shreya reporting live from Sri Gokulam Public School, Calicut. The school is all set to host the Inter School Science Fest on the 21st National Science Day. Up next, we have the principal of Sri Gokulam Public School, Calicut, Mr. Manoharan PK, with us to tell us more about the programs in brief. Let's listen to him. Our reporter Shreya is joining from Principal's Cabin. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can you please tell us something about the program Elixir Alchemy? Greetings to all from Sri Gogolam Public School Calicut. Elixir Alchemy is a program in connection with National Science Day Competition. We are celebrating National Science Day on 28 February each year to mark the great contribution, to mark the great discovery of and effort by Sir C. V. Ram. For this great discovery of and effort, Sir C. V. Raman was awarded Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1930. Sri Gogolam Public School, Calicut is taking an initiative to celebrate National Science Day in the new Elixir Alchemy. Sir, what are the objectives and ideas for conducting this program? The main objective to conduct this program is to instill in students the scientific temperament. I mean, scientific temperament among the students of say Google public school and uh, other uh, Googleites studying in Kerala, that is in other Google public schools. That is the idea behind that one. Main intention is to instill scientific temperament. So can I ask you one more question? Can you please elaborate on the topic Soaring Heights Elocution Competition? Well, Soaring Heights Elocution competition we are conducting for all the students of C. Gokul group of schools functioning from Kerala and Tamil Nadu. This is an English elocution competition, that means inter Gokul elocution competition. We are giving chance to all students of C. Gokul public schools. Two students from each class will get a chance to participate and the winners will be awarded cash prices and certificates. Thank you, sir, for your valuable time. Okay, Shaya, good day. Let's listen to the school head girl, Ananya, about her thoughts on the Science Day. Hello, Ananya. What do you have to tell us about the Science Day 2021? Hello, Shreya. We all know that 28th Feb, the day that marked the discovery of Raman Epic Phenomenon or the scattering of light by the Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman, is celebrated as National Science Day in India every year. For this discovery, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930. The National Council for Science and Technology Communication has proposed that every year, 28th February, will be celebrated as National Science Day. Hence, this day is celebrated with a theme that spreads the importance of science. This year, the theme is Future of STI, Impacts on Education Skills and Work. This shows the importance of science in our daily life and the achievements and efforts made in the field of science for human welfare. Thank you, Ananya. Back to you, Apshi. Thank you, Shreya. Chandra Shekhar Venkata Raman was born at Tiruchirapalli, November 7, 1888. He was an Indian physicist whose work was influential in the growth of science in India. After discovering the Raman effect in 1928, he was knighted by the British government in India and received a Nobel Prize in 1930. On this great day, it would be wonderful to hear about the Raman effect. Our reporter will be joining us from the School Science Lab. Over to you, Anupta. Thank you, Akshi. Here we have Gautam with us in Sir C. V. Raman's attire. It would be nice if you could explain the Raman effect. Hello everyone, let's understand what's scattering. 
Scattering in physics is a change in direction of motion of a particle because of collision with another particle. Whenever light experiences particles on its path, it gets scattered by the particles it encounters. The intensity of the scattering of light depends on the size of the particle and wavelength of the light. I will explain this with a small activity. So here I have got two beakers. One beaker contains distilled water and second beaker contains detol solution. Now I am going to pass this laser beam through each of these beakers. Observe what happens. So here you can clearly note that the path of the light is easily visible through distilled water. So here when we pass a laser beam through Dettol solution, the path of the beam is not visible. Why does this happen? This is because the particle size is very small in distilled water. So the intensity of the scattering of light is very low and hence we can see the path of the light very clearly. But in Dettol solution, the particle sizes are very big. So, so the intensity of the scattering of light is very high and hence we cannot see the path of the light. The scattering of light is observed in various natural phenomena like sky color, blue during the day and red at sunrise and sunset. It is also observed in projectors and in medical field. Thank you Gautam. Back to you Afshi. Thank you Anukta. National Science Day does not only commemorate a great Indian scientist and one of his greatest discoveries but also promotes science as a part of everyday living. The students of class 9 of SGPS are ready with their presentation on the importance and growth of science. Let's have a quick look. Good morning one and all. Science is a beautiful gift to humanity. We shall not destroy it. I am Dismay Visha and on behalf of Science Day, we the students of grade 9 are ready to show you a glance on the current affairs which you may or may not have known about and are very interesting and amazing. There have been so many great developments in science like penicillin, electricity, anesthetics, vaccines, etc. which are familiar to us and we also know a lot about them. Let's hear something about the new discoveries of our scientists by my dear friends who will display in such a way that it's very easy to understand and attractive with beautiful presentations. Everything is theoretically impossible until it is done. Now let's enjoy and be aware of the unknown heights of science. Hello, I am Shraddha Arra of class 9A studying in Sri Gokulam Public School, Calicut. I am here to give a presentation of recent developments in science and my topic is Successful Immunotherapy for Canine Bone Cancer Advances to Human Brain Cancer Trial. In June, veterinary researchers at the University of Missouri leveraged personalized medicine to successfully treat bone cancer in 14 dogs. New precision medicine procedure fights cancer, advances treatment for pets and humans. In a first of its kind study, scientists at the University of Missouri have helped advance a patient-specific precision medicine treatment for bone cancer in dogs. By creating vaccine from a dachshund tumor, scientists work with Alias Animal Health to target specific cancer cells and avoid the toxic side effects of chemotherapy while also opening the door for future human clinical trials. Osteosarcoma or bone cancer is not common in humans representing only about 800 to 900 new cases each year in the US. About half of those cases are reported in children and teens. However, for dogs, this disease is much more common with more than 10,000 cases a year occurring in the US. Here is a picture for common osteosarcoma sites. Canine osteosarcoma, amputation and chemoimmunotherapy. Canine osteosarcoma is a highly metastatic cancer commonly seen in large breed dogs. Dogs undergoing amputation alone have a median survival time of 3 to 4 months. Amputation followed by cisplatin chemotherapy incre increases median survival times to 9 to 11 months. So here we are, the current affairs science 2021. My topic is new protein based biosensors created for quick COVID-19 test. The normal COVID-19 testing methods, RT-PCR or reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. This is a type of COVID-19 test where they test the upper and lower respiratory specimens. 
and they are collecting the nasal or throat swabs of an individual and a self collection kit can also be used which is commercially approved for use by the government or the health association the next is antigen test the antigen test is a reliable rapid chromatographic test for the detection of covid-19 virus this product it is strictly intended for only professional use in laboratory or in a point of care environment now let us see how the new method will be efficient than the regular methods scientists they have created a new way to detect, detect the proteins that make up the pandemic coronavirus and their antibodies against it they design protein based biosensors which glow when mixed with the components of the viruses or the covid-19 antibodies these biosensors are highly reliable as they do not react to other antibodies that might be in the blood and also which target the other viruses this is important because it avoids false positive test results now when these protein based devices recognize specific molecules on the surface of the virus they bind to them and emit light through a biochemical reaction let us see how this works so i hope all like the small presentation on the new method of covid-19 testing so i am back we are talking about current affairs science 2021 and my topic is lost galaxy ngc 4535 recently the newspaper headlines were so if you go through this you can understand what is ngc 4535 its background and the background is an amateur astronomer Leland S Copeland fixed his telescope lens on a distant galaxy in the Virgo constellation first in 1950s so let's check about the lost galaxy it is also known as NGC 4535 the galaxy is one of the largest of some 2000 galaxies in the Virgo cluster The galaxy is located about 50 million light years from Earth. So, the distance will be 45 into 10 raised to 22 kilometers. Let's take about the spiral galaxy now. The last part, the concept of the spiral galaxy was first described by Edwin Hubble in 1936. The spiral galaxy is the most common type of galaxy in universe. Hello, I am Natalia Maria of class 9A studying in Gokulam Public School, Calicut. Today, I am going to present a relatively new topic in the ever developing medical field that is virtual 3D heart model reconstruction for babies born with heart defects. 18,000 children are born with heart defects which need medical intervention to save their life. Considering the baby's chest cavity and heart size, it is a very difficult and risky procedure. Virtual 3D technology is used in entertainment industry since many years. Now, software engineers, scientists and doctors have developed tools to use VR technology into medicine. First, a thin CT scan of heart is taken. Then, the CT images are loaded on a VR programmed computer. With the help of an advanced VR headset and tools, we can virtually dissect the heart and walk through. The defect of the heart is seen in three dimensions. which also enables us to 3D print a model of the heart for planning and practicing on it before the original operation. A well-planned surgery reduces complications and deaths, bringing more baby smiles. Greetings to all those who are present here. I am Niranjana Nair and I will be presenting a video on the topic free electronic sensor pen. This tiny piece of hardware featured in the photo above looks deceptively unimportant. It took Gilad Letra and two of his computer science buddies hundreds of thousands of years to develop it. It's a 3D laser interferometer, an optical sensor that is the most important component of a digital pen that Letra and his friends have built called Free. Free is a digital pen that works on any surface. The idea is that you can easily scribble notes or create sketches, but OTM Technologies, the startup behind Free, particularly sees the potential for using this pen with 
cutting edge software. For instance, you can use this pen with Google handwriting keyboard to write messages at speed or with virtual reality goggles as an intuitive control method. Impressively, writing is not all the pen has to offer. Down one side is a small touch screen that can alert you to incoming phone notification. If you want to reply to a text, you can do so by simply writing in the table in front of you. There is also a speaker and microphone inside free, which means you can hold it up to your ears and use it as a Bluetooth headset. So that was all about free. I hope you find this informative. Thank you all for providing me an opportunity to present this video. Thank you and have a great day. Let's have a quick glance at the elocution competition taking place between the vocalites. The most awaited moment has arrived. Hold your breath. The judges are here to announce the names of the prize winners. Let's take a look. The future is in the hand of the younger generation of our country. Let's meet the future scientists of Sri Gokulam Public School, Calicut. When the approach of the society becomes scientific in every aspect, growth and prosperity will follow as outcome. Therefore, the day must be observed with full support from the government and concerned departments. National Science Day must be observed with the same diligence every year. It should not be limited only to the science fraternity, but also must have participants from various walks of life. With that, we come to the close of this edition. This is me, Afshin, signing off. Thank you and have a nice day.